With the 2015 portion of the season out of the way, Mules Wrestling opened its 2016 MIAA schedule at the Maltai last Thursday, hosting Newman. Central Missouri opened conference duels with a win, 22-16 over the Jets. Those lightweights, you know, I thought they were pretty favored in a lot of those matches. And, and our guys, yeah, they, we didn't, the technique wasn't, you know, not where it needs to be, but the fight was there, and that was great, you know, and seeing guys fighting for each other, fighting for the team. The match started with four fits at heavyweight and 125 pounds, so the scoring automatically began with a 6-6 six to six tie. At 133 pounds, UCM's Dady Agnew beat Jake Genser by a one-point decision 6-5, to five, and Agnew only had a 4-3 to three lead heading into the final period. Caleb Crabtree earned a 10-4 to four decision for the Mules at 141, which gave UCM a 12-6 to six lead after four matches. It was another close win for the Mules at 149 when Stefan Fassett came back from being down 6 0 in the first period. He still trailed 9 8 after the second, but went on to beat Forlanda Parker 12 10. The overall UCM lead increased to 18 6 after Tyler Horton picked up another decision win at 157 pounds, beating Colton Durr 42. Redshirt freshman, true freshman, redshirt freshman, true freshman. Agnew, that's a, that's a kid, I think he's wrestling a senior there and, and, and just uh, someone who on paper is better than him, a, a D1 transfer, a kid has been around the block. Um, and just finding the grit, finding that takedown, you know, that he needs at the end of a match. And Caleb Crabtree, um, you know, I, it was nice to get a little more points there, but he has been feeling great. He has been practicing a lot. He's got, he's got some, some nagging injuries, so it was good to see him put together a match. Stefan, I thought he was going to pack it in there, and he second period rolls around, he gets his offense going and kept the pressure on the kid, and the kid finally broke. And then uh, Tyler Horton, I mean, that's a kid yeah. who, he's wrestling, that's probably one of their best wrestlers, and, and, and Tyler is not, you know, the most experienced wrestler. He's a kid, I don't, I don't he never made a state tournament in high school. And, um, just real smart, real tactical match, you know, kept the pace up, and, and Got that guy tired. Um, that kid got a couple shots. He fought off really hard. Shoot, even got a takedown, you know, to, to got the stall calls by pushing the pace and, and then found a takedown. Newman tightened up the team scores with three wins in the last four weight classes. UCM's Allen Person lost a 5-2 to two decision at 165 pounds. At 174, Archie Williams scored on several takedowns and a near fall to grab a 16-5 to five major decision. The senior All-American continues to be a very dynamic wrestler on the mat. He worked a lot with Archie with his ride, and you saw that. He played like three hands at nine times. But, you know, yeah, he's a dynamic athlete, and when he's just continually trying to score points and, and wrestling hard and not worried about anything else, he's probably one of the best guys in the country. In the last two matches of the night, the Mules' Mike Boyd and Robert Schneider fell in a decision and major decision at 184 and 197 pounds. Over the next month, Mules Wrestling will go up against the other MIAA teams in dual meets, hoping to use the win over Newman as a springboard. In January, this is the time of year where it is a grind. You know, first semester is mostly tournaments, opens. January is, is kind of the time of the year where we grind a lot of duels, conference matches. And, and our league's really tough. Yeah, every match is tough. Um, and, and I think you see that it, not just one or two guys can need to put everybody needs to put step on the line and, and do their job. The 2016 MIAA Championships are February 14th at Lindenwood. Reporting for UCMAthletics.com, I'm Katie Smith.